You're watching Theme Park Worldwide, where we're here at the Alton Towers Resort to get back on some dark rides. Yes, How are you looking forward to it? Yes. So, of course, today is the reopening of dark rides here in the UK. It's the 17th of May, 2021. I'm looking forward to getting back on some classics, like Charlotte's just said. Hex, Hex. the legend of the towers. We love that ride, don't we? We love it. So we're going to get on there. Of course, we'll see if there's any changes. We'll head up into Gloomy Woods. We're going to have a ride on Jewel the Haunted House Strikes Back because we know there's actually been some changes to the pre-show for this year. Ooh. So we'll head up there and see that. We'll take a stroll through Sharp Bait Reef by Sea Life and of course give you any updates from in there as well. So yeah, come and join us as we get back on some dark rides here at the Alton Towers Resort and of course give you any updates to some of the changes. Now yesterday we uploaded a brand new vlog of course, um, all from the world of David Walliam. So check it out if you've not already seen it, sharing our review from Gangster Granite the ride. We really enjoyed it, didn't yeah, we? Yeah, it was really good. It was a great ride and of course the area itself looks fab up there too. So check out that vlog, it went online yesterday here on the channel. But uh, yeah, come and join us. Let's go and have a ride on Hex and uh, yeah, step on board one of our favourite dark rides here in the UK. Oh, it's nice to be walking up these steps again on the first day Yay! of dark rides to be open here in the UK. I think we're probably the first riders, to be honest, of the season. Like, nobody else seems to be down here. Here we go. So, of course, we can't film on the rides here at Alton Towers, but we'll share any updates, of course, that have happened. You never know, there might be some changes or it might be the same. I'm hoping that it's the same, to be honest, because I love Hex just the way it is. A vault here for two centuries, a season when it was closed, and then three national lockdowns. There you go. <laughs> right, let's go and have a ride and we'll see when we come off Hex. Oh, it's great to be back down this queue line again and the smell pods in here as well. It smells amazing. It was absolutely amazing to get back on Hex. How was oh, your ride? I love Hex. Oh, it was amazing. So yeah, it's a Vacoma Madhouse, for those of you that might not know. Excellent. Of course, the room spins and you actually rock side to side. So it actually feel like you're Brilliant. going upside down when you're not. But how good was that? So good to get back on Hex. And some of the changes we noticed in there, how smoky was it? It was so smoky. <laughs> like the smoke machines were at full pelt today. Blasting uh, absolutely smoke. blasting out in the octagon room. So basically when you, we wrapped up the footage before going on, uh, of course you walk up the queue line there, you then head into a cinema room just here where you watch the pre-show. You then go into this room, which is the octagon, uh, and that was great in there. I think they've replaced the speakers in that section. It was really loud. And like Charlotte said, really smoky. And then of course you go into a building that's built behind the tower's ruins. Um, basically a big steel corrugated shed what where the ride is oh that was great to get back on there hex everybody hex we absolutely love it and what were we we was the first riders of the 2021 season we thought that we were and we, 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 we thought yeah that's it and we were so yeah first riders us and two others four people yeah. on there like capacity hex of 70 everybody. and there's only four of us on it yeah. but honestly that was amazing and to be honest it, it's one of the best dark rides out there in my opinion oh. it's a classic today is all about the dark rides like i say in yesterday's vlog uh that we filmed today of course was at gangster granny and we got on that which was brilliant so check that out out. and we're going to head over and see some of the other indoor attractions now because it's not just Hex and Gangster Granny. Oh no, we've got Jewel to go and check out. Yes. And I think we'll go and have a walk through Shark Bait Reef, shall we? Yeah, have a look through the Sea Live Centre. Of course, it's included in your admission here at Alton Towers. It is so quiet today. Obviously, it's a Monday. Today's the first day, of course, where these indoor attractions can be open. And Alton Towers obviously opened the new area today too. But I was expecting it to be a little bit busier. I know it's a Monday. People have got school and work and stuff. But I was expecting it to be a little bit busier, especially with it being um, a ride opening day. Well, a full area opening day here at Alton Towers. But yeah, let's head down to Mutiny Bay. And also, talking of the towers whilst we're here at Hex, there's something that I just want to mention because there's a bit of work going on um, on the Towers Ruins round at the front. So we'll talk about that on the way down. Round here at the front then now of the Towers Ruins. And as you can see, some scaffolding is starting to be set up. They've actually fenced off around this front part of the Towers as well. And over the past couple of days, they've actually been removing the final part of the window just up the top there. Uh, the bottom two panels here have been out for quite a while. However, I'm led to believe that the window is now being fully restored and is ready to go back into place just here, which is great. 
because anyone, of course, who visits Alton Towers, uh, walk down Tower Street and see the beautiful Towers ruins here that are stunning and really make the park. However, for a good few years now, all of the uh, glass windows in the front here haven't been in place because they needed restoring. So yeah, of course, the, the window must be ready now. All of the uh, uh, scaffolding's going up. And yeah, of course, we're going to be seeing that go into place. Yeah, so yeah. really good to see. Very nice. Of course, it does mean that the towers are going to look a bit of a mess whilst they're doing it. They'll look lovely when they're done. Once it's finished, yeah. I mean, I don't know how long it's going to take. Uh, they've not announced anything about this. Again, I'm just sort of uh, presuming that that's what they're doing. But I know that the window was being restored a few years ago. Um, so yeah, it's nice to see that the, it's finally getting done. Obviously, this scaffold, it looks like it's going to raise up all the way in front of the window. So yeah, we'll give you some updates on that. But it's quite unique actually seeing it without any glass in at all. Like I say, they put like some perspex in there temporary for a while. Um, but it's nice to see that the permanent window looks like it's coming back. So, right, let's carry on the updates then. Down now to Mutiny Bay. Let's go and have a little walk through Shark Bay Reef. No real changes down here come, uh, from the update yes, uh, a couple of days ago that I put online. Getting my days mixed up. Feeling that much for Alton Towers this week? Spring rolls. Oh, spring rolls here. How are you feeling about them? Oh, I'll be here straight away. <laughs> spring rolls and my yoga pudding wrap. Obviously, it's the first time you've seen all these set out here, isn't oh. it? I'm excited. Oh, we can't wait. Of course, we're going to have another Alton Towers vlog coming on Saturday. It's Alton Towers week, isn't it? Oh, it's fantastic. I just hope the weather's better than that. We've got King Kato there. <laughs> Look at that black cloud over oh, Exeter. Oh, Where's crazy. Oh, I tell you, there is an update. Here we go. This one's been done. Oh, this has gone in wow. since we did the update yeah. the other day. Here we go. We've got a little menu just over here, so we'll take a look. But yeah, I did film a, a dedicated Mardi Gras update a couple of days ago. So check it out if you've not already seen it. But yeah, we may as well share this whilst we're here. Here we go, Cajun chicken, oh, Caribbean jerk, Cajun. lemon pepper, piri piri, garlic and herbs, some tikka down there, sweet chili, halloumi, falafel. Oh. There we go, do you fancy a falafel? No. Yeah. <laughs> what do you think to the uh, venue there? I think it looks really good. Yeah, some nice stuff on there. Cajun. Nice stuff. I don't know why you've got sunglasses on when it looks like it's about to rain, but you know, right, let's go down to Mutiny Bay and have a look. And the rain is starting to come down again. Hey, honestly, when is the weather going to get better, Charlotte? Oh, it's horrible. Oh, it's not great at all, is it? Anyway, we're going inside Shark Bay Reef now by Sea Life. And here we go. As you can see, they've actually updated the signage out the front. That looks really fresh. Yeah, it does. Fresh. That's the key. We said that about Hex was looking fresh. fresh. I don't know if we got that in or not in the vlog, did we? But looking fresh. But anyway, we're going in Shark Bay Reef now. Give you a bit of a zoom in. They've actually put an LED strip light behind the signage there. Apologise about any rain that's going to get on the uh, on the lens, but uh, I'll give it a wipe before we get inside. But yeah, there they put like a LED strip light behind the signage. So let's go inside and uh, take you for a walkthrough. We can film in here. So one thing to mention when you visit Shark Bait Reef by Sea Life, you need to keep one crab between you and the other party ahead of One you. crab? What one do you mean one crab? crab? Ah, a crab, I see, there we go. One crab. The crab social distancing markers. Let's go and see the wonderful fish here in Shark Bait Reef. Maybe we're the first ones in here of the year, I don't know. That'd be good. Yeah. <laughs> Love the lighting in here. I think they've done a few lighting upgrades just down there. And that big one up there on the left. I know these were in before on the walls, but the LED oh, lights is looking good. Now. Oh, it's not great at all. Yeah, Shark Bay Reef. So yeah, this is included in your admission here at Alton Towers. The lovely fish. It's a very nicely themed aquarium, this. I opened back in 2009. Yeah, it's got some nice theming and decor. Oh, I like him. Sometimes the team here at Shark Bay Reef change the exhibits as well. Massive, of course. They look huge, but some of the glass is reflective. So these aren't actually as big as what they are. I think you're right, it's probably a little bit bigger than that, I reckon. I'm not really a fish expert. They look a bit scared of us, to be honest. I think because they've not seen people for ages. But yeah, you've got to hand it to the team here at Sea Life. You've got to think, just because it's been shut for, well, well over half a year, the team here at Sea Life has still had to be in, feeding the fish and looking after them. But yeah, I bet it's actually really weird for the fish, seeing people again. That shark's thinking, people, oh, here it comes. But yeah, it's always nice in here. And like I said, they're often changing some of the exhibits. We've seen quite a lot of changes in here over the years, haven't we? Around to Skeleton Bay. I actually think we're the only ones in here. <laughs> but yeah, it's just nice to have indoor things available again. Oh, there is some other people. You're right down there, mate. We've missed you. 
at least on a wet day though now you can come inside you can have a little bit of shelter and you've got to think indoor dining is back you today can sit inside which is great roller coaster restaurants back today we're going to be doing a vlog there probably in the next couple of weeks yeah, we'll come and do it. yeah definitely but it's great because on a wet day now at least there's indoor stuff to do which is good always like the lighting and audio in here as well whoa what is that? i don't know but i like it as you can tell we're not fish experts <laughs> what is that? got the little shrimps in there as well the little cleaner shrimps shrimps mushroom collar Honestly, I bet it's so weird for the fish seeing people again after all this time. Of course, we can have a look inside the main ocean tank just over here. Oh, he's just emerging from the box down there. Straight out of the box. And of course, you got the big zebra shark just over there as well. You got the rays in here. Sometimes when they're feeding these, they actually put strings of broccoli hanging down here in the window. Fish like broccoli, they like all the vegetables. As long as they're getting the five a day. Oh, he's excited for gangster granny. Oh, there's the zebra shark. Oh, 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 hello. Say hello to all the viewers. Honestly, I think they're, they're thinking like people. Yeah, it's probably a shock to them, really. You've got to think, other than the staff here, they've not seen people since November. No. It's like, oh, it's six months, isn't it? Like crazy, half a year without seeing humans, other than, of course, the same people they see every day feeding them. Amazing. I wonder how big he actually is. Beautiful. Right, we'll carry on walking around this way. Of course, you can go into the uh, ocean tunnel as well when you walk a little bit further around. That's a nice display, isn't it? Like all the coral reef in there. Raiders retreats. Nice, aren't they? I thought he was going to do a full inversion then. Charlotte looks fascinated. I like seeing horses. And this is a nice theme section, what they did a couple of years ago, like the rainforest area, all the terrain, what they put down. Got the leaf cutter ants somewhere in there. I can't see any. Oh, it's a wild species. And these are a lovely colour. Look at those, so bright. I really like the blue tails on these ones as well. So here we've got all the jellyfish down here. Love a bit of jellyfish. The ghost of the sea. The ghost of the sea. Here we go. This is the main ocean tunnel. I don't remember them gold bars being down there before. No. Unless it's been that long since I've been in here, I'm not too sure. It's been a while. Like I said, at least half a year. Oh, there's a zebra shark. So, of course, it's not a full size sea life centre like some of the standalone ones. It's only a short 10, 15 minute walk through, of course, depending on how long you want to be in here. But like we said, just it's nice to actually have more indoor options now, like on a wet day. And that's the great thing with Gangster Granny. You know, it's another indoor ride here at Alton Towers. And that didn't replace any other ride. You know, it was just a soft play area before Bouncy Castles. These are nice, aren't they? And there we go. That shark boat reef. Yeah, maybe a couple of upgrades in there, but you've got to think. Fair play to the Sea Life team, you know, they've been here throughout all the lockdowns, feeding the fish, you know, really doing a good job, so that's what it's all about, isn't it? But yeah, it's only a short little walk through, but it's always nice to have a stroll through. But uh, right, we're going to head up towards Gloomy Wood now. Got another dark ride to get on. It's literally Indoor Attractions Day, isn't it, today? Get on the indoor stuff. Let's go up to Jewel because we know there's been some changes up there for this year. 
Now, of course, indoor attractions are allowed to reopen today here in England. However, over in CBeebies land, Justin's house Pyomatic factory, which is basically uh, a little play area where you go in and shoot balls at each other, isn't allowed to be open at the moment. I think that's because of social distancing. Just thought I'd mention that. Justin's house is now the only attraction here uh, that isn't actually open, but uh, hopefully that'll be able to open soon. Along with that as well, there's nothing down here on the stage yet. Wasn't too sure if there was going to be something starting today down here, but uh, I imagine that, of course, it's going to be all kicking off from this Saturday for the start of Mardi Gras. But of course, all the benches are in place down there and the stage is ready to go, uh, ready for the entertainment, which we think is going to be starting on Saturday down there as well. Of course, along with uh, Mardi Gras that's kicking off this weekend. So, of course, the Alton Towers dungeon also reopens today. We're not going to be heading inside today, but we will do at some point. Go and check the dungeon out. Just thought I'd show you the prices here. It's not included in our mission. Um, on the day of mission, £7.50. Annual pass holder tickets are £2.50. Season pass standard is £7.50. As you can see, you've got the uh, tour times down there, but £45.15 doesn't I'm mean much sure to me. I'm not sure about the last time. <laughs> Four, I think that's supposed to be... Uh, is that 15 15 I, think, yeah. I don't know. I'm, I'm it's sure. a four o'clock ride close, but yeah, first to 11.15 anyway, and I can't tell you what the other one is because I don't understand what 45.15 is. I mean, we know the 24 hour clock, don't we? I think it's 15.15. <laughs> you reckon? I, I think it might be too. Oh, what a horrible day. Right, let's continue having a walk around and do some dark rides. Down here now then in a very quiet, gloomy wood, where it's time for our first ride of the season on Jewel, the Haunted House Strikes Back. So this ride originally opened as the Haunted House back in 1992, very long time ago, long before we were born. Ago. One year before I was born, that was. But uh, yeah, and then in 2003, it got rethemed into Jewel, and that's when they added the guns on there. It's an interactive shooting dart ride now. Again, we can't film on the ride, but we'll take you through the queue line because there's been some changes. So um, in the vlog from here that we filmed last month, we mentioned how they've actually changed the disability access it's now the ramp which is just out the side there so if you are coming and using that just so you know you don't go through the shop anymore you go up the ramp and because of that they've done some changes inside the pre-show oh. so should we go and have a look let's go and have a look let's go and see i've always loved how mysterious this ride is of course you walk down here through the graveyard go through this little abandoned turret just here as we approach the main building itself yeah i've always liked the just the vibe around it and a few years ago they actually updated the soundtrack here on Jewel as well, and I actually prefer this new one. I think it's a lot more atmospheric. The old one was a bit too fun, in my opinion. Let's go and have a look inside. Oh, here we go, carpet fitters have been out. Got some new carpet down here. But remember, wherever you are in the haunted house, hidden eyes are watching you. Here we go, oh, this is different. So of course before, you used to go up like a slanted floor up this way. The doll's house was over on the right. Now we go up this way. Oh, this is very different. I was a bit concerned that they were going to completely level the floor, but luckily it has still got a slant to it. Yeah, it has. You know, originally when we heard about this, we thought maybe it was going to be completely flat, but yeah, it has still got the slant still to got it. The slant. And then now, of course, the doll's house is on the opposite side. Before you literally used to walk straight up that bit. But yeah, doll's house is over there now. Got all the books still turned in as well, so the effects are still working. But of course, it now means that those guests in a wheelchair can actually come up this way and see the pre-show for the first time ever, which is a really good positive. So there you go, yeah, some pretty big changes here in Jewel. Yeah, there's a little look at the room from this way. Park on there, lighting up the uh, on the top there with the chimney. And of course, this section's still the same down here. So right, we'll see you when we come off. Jewel the Haunted House strikes back. Just on our ride there then on Jewel the Haunted House Strikes Back. Great to get back on some dark rides today, isn't it? Yeah, really nice to get back. And I'm actually really liking what they've done there in the pre-show. And I think it's fantastic the fact that now it's more inclusive. You know, people in a wheelchair can head up there See and go yourself. and enjoy that, which is the first time since 1992 uh, where wheelchair access has been down that way, which is really good to see. And the change in the pre-show actually now mean that you're in there a little bit longer than you were before. Yeah. 
uh, because you go up into the top corner of the room uh, and around the back wall now where the bookcase is because they've changed that you're actually in that scene a lot longer now which uh, yeah I'm quite pleased about and lighting's good in there as well uh, it is the rest of the ride like I say if you've never been on Jewel maybe you've never been on Towers but uh, it's an interactive shooting dark ride with some good scenery and set pieces in there some of the lighting's a bit bright in some sections like UV uh, yeah in some areas like they've got the screaming heads which is quite a scary scene yeah um, but yeah with that like it's just a bit too bright you can see all the mechanisms we've been saying this for a couple of years now since it broke but they've got the trommel tunnel um, inside there as well now the trommel has been broke for a couple of years unfortunately it's still broke isn't it yes it is. <laughs> I'd love to have filmed this vlog and been like oh the trommel's back it's not working but what they have done is actually turned off the UV light um, in there so you can't tell as much now that it's a trommel so it's not too bad <laughs> it's not as noticeable ideally it needs fixing but they've turned the UV light off so you can't tell that it's a broken effect now uh, which is the main thing on there but uh, yeah that's it that's a nice little vlog yeah just can we get out some dark rides why not of course we've got a big bumper Alton Towers vlog coming um, on Sunday because Saturday's the first day of Mardi Gras spring rolls. spring rolls and we can't wait because of course we've got all these stages around the park so much going on to see so we thought we don't want to film too much this week because we've got that coming up Saturday Dancing Charlotte will be back oh yeah Dancing Sean and Charlotte and we can't wait for that and if you haven't already check out yesterday's vlog um, all about the world of David Walliams and of course the brand new dark ride Gangster Granny so thanks for joining me and Charlotte and that leaves us with one final thing to say get, get out, out there, there and keep, keep on, on riding. riding see you soon <laughs>